Happy Wednesday, everybody! Happy Hum Day! Thank you for joining me once again every Wednesday for our Facebook Live tutorial. So let's see who's here with me. And um, Instagram is telling my followers that I am live. Hi, Tea Time Two One Five. Thank you for joining me on Instagram. So quite ah. So we have Kala and Tina here as well. Create and celebrate. And Dana, thank you for joining me on Instagram. So if you are watching me on Facebook, make sure you click on the StreamYard link so I can see your name. Streaming to several places at one time, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and my Facebook group. So don't be shy to say hi. If I don't call out your name, it's not because I don't see you. Once again, I want to be respectful of your time. Those of you who's joining me the very first time, my name is May Yo Silvers. I am the owner of M2 Hospitality, a multiple six-figure profit event planning company, and also the founder, event mentor, and coach for events for anyone, where we provide a mentorship program called the Unstoppable Eventrepreneur. So for Instagram, you can see my shirt, and then for the rest of the platform, here you go. So it's the Unstoppable Eventrepreneur where we help event planners like all of you to start and grow your event planning company, hopefully to a six-figure profit business as well. Hey, Nancy, good to see you here on Facebook. So today we are going to talk about what exactly is flash sales. So I see Helen is here, Weddings by Yuri, and um, Anne is here from Divine Arrangements. So good to see all my followers every Wednesday. Once again, thank you so much for giving me your time on a Wednesday during lunchtime. And those of you in the Pacific time zone is nine o'clock in the morning. So I appreciate you giving me your time. Hey, Jackie, thank you for joining me on Facebook. So what is it? And then we have Joanne here at, at DW Prime Events. Okay, so what exactly is uh, flash sales? So for those of you inside my mentorship program, I've taught you all this session. So it's good refresher course right now as we're heading into the holidays and um, there's, and also into winter. And there are some empty spots on your event calendar because the weather has changed. It's a little cold during winter time. So the event calendar is not getting as booked up as much, right? So I want to talk about this topic now. So it gives you time to think about how to do a sales promo during those slow period. And we don't promote the business when we need it. We promote the business before we actually need it because it takes at least three months to do a successful sales promo. Okay. So many of you on Facebook, make sure you click on the link so I can see your name. You're very welcome. Someone says, thank you for this free tutorial. Every Wednesday I come on live at 12 p.m. Eastern time zone for a free tutorial. So if you are new <coughs> to my world, just know that I come on every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time zone, rain or shine, and um, we stream it to Instagram as well, and also to Facebook and to LinkedIn and YouTube. Okay, so Danielle is here too. Thank you for joining me. Now, Flash sales is basically a sales promo, a sales promotion activity or sales generating activities that we use not very often throughout the year. It is what we call, you know, like when um, those retail stores, they have Labor Day sales, they have um, Memorial Day sales, they have July 4th sales, thanks, you know, and Black Friday, right? So you see that the store is not always on sale, only during holiday season, during those certain holidays, right? That they create an opportunity to do a sale. Whereas in the events business, a flash sales is done to fill up those empty spots on your events calendar. Hey, Rachel, thank you for joining me and Siobhan. So a flash sales, this strategy is being used to fill up those empty spots, okay, in your events calendar. When you see that, you know, it, it could be during peak season or it could be during non-peak season. It's up to you how you want to structure your business. But my advice is always, first and foremost, do not offer it often. Otherwise, your followers or, or um, the people who wants to hire you, will wait, purposely wait for you to do a flash sale to sign up with you, which may not be a bad idea, but I think there's a better strategy behind it. 
A flash sale is implemented when you look at your calendar three to six months out or when you're planning your, um, your business revenue projection for the entire year, you should be able to recognize which part of the year is slow for events, right? So here, for instance, in Miami, the summer season is so hot. So the events book are also less than during a peak season where the weather is so much better. And those of you who are in cold states, like let's just say Chicago, New York, right? The end of the year, like November, December, January are also slow seasons because it's so cold. So people tend to want to do the events during spring, during spring or the fall, right? And also maybe the early parts of summer. So when you're planning your sales projection for your company, okay you need to start looking where can i slot in a flash sale okay and you need to be strategic about when to promote the flash sale flash sale should not be promoted way in advance but it also cannot be promoted too late otherwise it doesn't give you time to plan the event so for instance right let's just say that you see now we're in september okay we're in september and um and you are you're seeing quite a few empty slots in your calendar for december okay and also for maybe march next year for instance okay and you want to run a promotion so when you want to run a promotion when you do a flash sales it's giving a certain types of discount so you want to promote that discount to your followers on your instagram on your facebook on your website okay so when you do a flash sales, you have to first and foremost, make sure that there are some rules and regulation, right? So every time when you fly, when you see, you know, like some destinations or hotels or airfares, they have promotion going on, but then they always have blackout dates, correct? Not applicable, not applicable on certain dates and have to book by certain dates and also have to have a minimum spend, correct? So I'm going to go through it one by one. As event planner, we need to be extremely familiar with when is the seasons that are peak seasons and low seasons where you do your events. So for instance, if you are in New York, okay, you need to identify where when is the best seasons where you get a lot of bookings and when are the seasons that you don't get a lot of bookings. Here in Miami, again, summer is when I have less events, okay? September, October, and the first two weeks of November, I am slammed. And then January, second week of January, all the way to probably the first two weeks of April, I am buried. So then we have May, June, July, August, where things slow down, right? So I'm looking at my events calendar and I'm thinking that, okay, I know that June, June, July, August, okay? It's going to be very slow or in fact even half of may is going to be very slow what do i need to do to ramp up the business so i'm looking at my calendar my events calendar i was like wow there's nothing there okay i want to book something during those slow seasons so i can project how much money i'm going to make right so i already have a strategy in mind okay i will already have a strategy in mind what to do for the flash sales so what i'll do is i will think about a promotion Okay, let's say that I do a promotion of, mm, depending on, there you go, there goes my dog, <laughs> a promotion on maybe 20% off event rentals for those of you who rent inventory or 20% off my event planning fee, okay? Or something that I know that my, my clients desire, right? Every event sometimes requires floral. So I have a partnership with a florist and say that, hey, you know, can we um, collaborate and you give me the floral at a much cheaper price and it's also slow season for them so that I can say that, you know, plan, you, um, you plan an event with us or hire us to be your planner during this period of time. So I will be very clear about the timeline when this event has to happen. So if let's say I want to fill out my calendar for June, July, August, I will make the flash sales promo to have these rules and regulation. And the rules and regulation would be 
would be um, ple- uh, the event has to happen between the months of June to August 31st, from June 1st to August 31st, okay? And I, it's your business. You can do what you, you, can, you can do whatever regulation you want. So you can say it has to happen from June to August 31st. You can even say that, you no, know, the dates are extremely important, okay? You have to tell them when they can use this flash sale promo. So, so when you tell them that you can only do this at this, that means we avoid the situation that when we sell this promo, they decide to have this event during the peak, peak, peak season. And if you do it during the peak season, you are replacing a more profitable event with this flash sale event. Remember, flash sales events are events that you're going to have a less profit margin, but there is profit still coming in to plug the holes of your events calendar where you have no events. So that's where you're going to have this cash injection coming in. Okay, so you want to indicate, right? You want to indicate when can you use this promo? This promo promo is only applicable. Okay, this flash sales promo is only applicable from June 1st to August 31st. Okay, which is the slow season here in Miami. So for, for you New Yorkers, it could be from December 1st or actually December 1st. Yeah, December 1st to February 28th or something like that. And then you can also put not applicable on uh, major holidays like Martin Luther King, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year Eve, New Year Day. Okay, you need to talk about the blackout dates. All right, especially if those blackout dates fall during those slow season. Right. So for me, I would say not applicable for July 4th weekend. Okay, not applicable before July 4th and during July 4th. So so um because we don't know if we've, we're going to get any bookings during that time but then i also do not want to work during the help that holiday so i have that regulation okay now so once you put your blackout dates right you put your blackout dates of when you can use those sales promo for your flash sales when should we promote okay when should you pro- when should we promote the different strategies behind it okay you can promote now if you want but the the, the or, or, or you can promote now if you want, but the only drawback is we still have a big booking window from now, September, all the way to August. So we don't know if we are able to book anything between June, July, August at this time at a regular price, correct? But if you have been in business for a while and you have been seeing your historic data that normally... For the past few years, June, July, August has always been a quiet time in Miami. Then it's okay. I don't mind running that promo now. That's okay with me. So when I run that promo, right, I will make it very clear that it has to be used from June to August and you have to book by a certain date. Now, the reason why I don't do the promo so far out is because we want to create that urgency. Okay, urgency to buy. When people buy something so far out, they forgot that they bought something. So my, that's my philosophy, okay? So, and that's also my strategy. I would say that I will start promoting, I will start promoting my, I will start promoting my, um, my flash sales for my promo for my event, June, July, August, reduced fee event around April. So I will start promoting from April 1st to mid of May, okay? And I will tell them, or end of end of April, so one month, one month of promo. So from April 1st to end of April. So I will tell them that you will have to book by April 30th in order to use this promo by this date, okay? So another way to use a flash sales is you can start sending out your emails now, but you have to tell them same thing. You have to book within one month and the event has to happen by this date. That for those people, weddings especially, because they plan six to nine months out. If you want to fill out your calendar for slow season for weddings, this is a great strategy. So you can start promoting six to nine months out and say that we are having a wedding 
wedding planning wedding planning services promo okay and let's say september 7 i'm promoting it now so if you are getting if you are thinking to save some cost for your wedding's budget we have something for you so if you plan if your wedding happens from if you plan to have your wedding during the months of june july august okay june july august of 2023 we have a flash sales for you so book us from now september 7 to end of september 30th and enjoy 10 to 20 percent off our packages or 20 percent off our packages plus a free hand bouquet something like that okay but i i will put down i will put down the expiration date okay to book that promo and when it has to happen okay so this is also a good strategy right this is also a good strategy to use when you are at a uh, at a wedding show okay you want to create that urgency if you book with us on the spot you get 20 percent off or you book with us within 48 hours after the wedding show you get a 20 20 percent off so a flash sale is a strategy that you can implement when you look at your events calendar okay you look at your events calendar and see what are the pockets that you're trying to fill once you identify the pockets that you're trying to fill okay for your events just know that just know that it normally should apply during slow season if you see pockets during your peak season do not book now give you another scenario okay peak season during miami is second week of january all the way to probably first week of april right so so from second week of january february march and first two weeks of april we are very busy but if for whatever reason i have two weekends okay that i'm not doing anything during those peak season and fast forward it is first week of january now and i see that oh oh for march and april I have some empty slots. Not sure what happened. Okay. I'm not filled up. What happened? So I can run the promo, a very, very short term promo. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm doing, you know, I I, I want to fill up my slots. I'm doing a, you know, I'm doing a, a, a major sales right now. Let's do a promo. I'm gonna do a flash sales. 20% off everything that you that that you hire me for. Rentals planning the whole nine years but it has to happen on this date your event has to happen on this date and this date i have used this strategy many times and you may think that oh it's crazy who plan events like two three months out right people will find a reason to plan an event okay if you make the deal so attractive that you make the deal so attractive that they's like hey you know what if i were to do if i were to do this um throw a party okay so if, let's say if let's say they want they want to throw a, um, a birthday party a milestone party that is on the third week of april for instance okay the third week of april but i run a promo and i say that hey you know i have a promo going on if your event is happening on the last week of march to the first two weeks of april i will give you 20 percent off on everything those of you who do decorating services and rental services this is a great strategy okay great strategy to use very very short-term booking and you will be surprised how many people actually will move the date of the event so that they can they can take advantage of your promo okay so the fundamental of the flash sales is you have to make sure when you can use that promo fundamental when you can use that promo okay and for those of you who are renting inventories okay or decorating services or selling an actual product you want to also think about putting a minimum purchase okay a minimum purchase and for event planners you also may want to think about a minimum of five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars the minimum fee that you will you will work for will be applicable so all this in fine prints so you know when you do your flash sales you know that you're going to make money regardless because you have a minimum purchase that they need to fulfill in order to use the flash sales okay 
So fundamental, the blackout dates. Another thing is, is there going to be a minimum purchase, okay, that they need to fulfill in order to use this flash sales promo? And also, when should you promote the flash sales? Again, I wouldn't suggest doing more than two to three times a year because if you become that discount lady, okay, if you have a reputation that you are the discount lady and, and um, you keep running your flash sales every month, then why would people pay you for your full, full price? They wouldn't. They would just wait for another flash sales, right? That's why you don't see me selling anything that is at a discounted rate, okay? Unless, unless there is a, a, a period that I need to have the cash injection. And it's also good to implement that in your sales activities that you're planning for the next year because you are able to also start targeting or, or uh, projecting how much revenue you're going to get from the flash sales as well. Now, how do you sell your flash sales? Okay, that's why I say it's so important for you to have your own email database. For those of you who have your own Facebook group, which I don't think many of you do, but if you have your followers, okay, if you have your followers on Instagram or Facebook, you should ask for their email address by telling them that we occasionally run promotions, okay? Do you want to be the first to know when we have a sale going on? If yes, please drop your email address. That's when you can collect that email address and create your own database where you are going to be able to blast. You know, you, an email campaign is so important. So you will be able to sell, okay? You'll be able to sell the flash sales in your email. So your people, if let's say you want to do a Black Friday sale, you want to do a New Year Day sale, whatever, right? Doing your, all your flash sales, then you can email it to all these people. So you're hitting them on your Facebook, you're hitting them on your, on your Instagram, you're hitting them on your Pinterest, if you're using Pinterest, and also your email, right? So you want to be able to promote the flash sales because there's no point having a flash sales when nobody knows about your flash sales. So every time you have some form of a contact with your followers, okay, or somebody gets to know you, exchange email, whatever, you want to be able to collect the email. That's where you're going to be able to promote your flash sales. And you want to also put a, you also want to put somehow like a, um, like a tracking, coupon where you need to put some form of a coding on that flash sale promo so when people when people comes to you right because if you were to run two flash sales back to back okay so a few months out from each other and then people call you and they book you okay for your event and they say oh you know i saw your flash sales you want to be able to track that sale back to the flash sales because you want to be able to evaluate if your strategy is working. What if people are buying, okay? If you don't know where the lead is coming from, right? From which strategy you're using, then you don't know what is working and what is not working, correct? Okay, so hopefully today you have learned how to do a flash sales, why it's important to do a flash sales. You have all this time, you already know a sales promo, right? A sales promo. But when can we give a discount? When is the best time to give a discount? Under what circumstances to give a discount and what regulations and rules we should have in order to not lose money when we run a discount promo, right? So today you learn all of that. So hopefully you can start implementing all this that I've taught you today and start creating your flash sales offer. If you have liked today's tutorial, give me a thumbs up so I know that you have enjoyed and I haven't lost you in all the logistics. So before I go, I have very exciting announcement to make. So we have our Passion to Profit workshop coming back September 26th to 30th. This time round, the topics will be quite different, okay? This time round, we are here to help people who already have the event planning business and is making a good amount of money, probably the low fives, right? You're making a revenue you know, or income, right? Uh, um, of maybe $10,000, $15,000, and you want to elevate to the mid to high 50s, hopefully to the six figures. 
So the content is going to be a little bit different. So on day one, we'll be teaching how do you structure your, your business so you can actually enjoy your CEO lifestyle. So I'm pretty sure quite a few of you who's making the amount of money is working in your business. You're literally working every single weekend. You're making the money, but you're exhausted as hell. So I'm going to teach you how to structure your business so you can enjoy the true CEO lifestyle that you are working so hard for. So the second day of the, uh, of the workshop, we'll be talking about how to evaluate your sales and marketing dollar. Where should you be spending your money in sales and marketing so you can get more sales without spending more sweat equity and time? Okay, so we're talking about everything about sales. How should you be reinvesting your income or your revenue from the business to create money at a faster momentum? Okay, and then on Wednesday, the third day, we'll be talking about how your relationship with yourself is going to affect your relationship with money and the growth of your business. So the last time we talked about your relationship with money. This time around, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on your relationship with yourself, how you treat yourself, how you see yourself, and how you audit yourself, right? Your thinking, your behavior is going to affect how you make decisions for your business. I'll be teaching that on Wednesday. Thursday, again, I'll be sharing my story, but I will be focusing on five core pillars, which is desire, belief, actions, results, audit. So I will go through these five and that will also be the theme of this whole workshop, okay? Employee to CEO mindset and based on these five beliefs that I am going to go over. And then on the last day, always pricing. We're going to talk about five pricing, making sure that you know how to price, how to calculate return on investment and also how to manage your funds, okay? You have all this money coming in. Do you see all this money? If you do, how are we using those money to reinvest back into the business, to pay yourself, to reinvest into hiring, reinvest into marketing? We're going to talk about that, funds management. So this workshop is a little bit high level. So if you're beginning of your business, I will encourage you to still join because you need to know what you're heading yourself into when you take the leap of faith to start your business. For those of you who are already having success or a little bit of success in your business, but you are working in your business instead of working on your business, this workshop is perfect for you, okay? Of course, we'll be talking about how to build a team system, legalities, all the good stuff, but we'll be focusing more on elevating you to bring your low five figures to mid figures, mid five figures to six figures. That's the whole focus of this workshop. Make sure that you connect with your concierge to register for the workshop, okay? Send them a DM. If you don't know who your concierge is, just um, tag me and then I'll get you to your concierge, okay? All right, thank you so much, everybody, for your time. Somebody just put passion. <laughs> All right, so somebody just put passion, which is the keyword that our concierge just dropped inside the chat. If you want to register for the Passion to Profit workshop, Make sure that you DM your concierge or comment passion and we will register you. It starts on September 26th, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time zone all the way to Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time zone. And we always have orientation on the Sunday before, which is September 25th, 8 p.m. Eastern time zone, where I give you the overview of what to expect at the workshop. And that's only about like 20, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for your time today. I will talk to all of you. Next Wednesday, same time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.